As we've just discovered, appearances can be deceptive. So reserving your judgment this time, before your eyes deceive you again, see if you can guess the whereabouts of this tropical island paradise. The clue is in the word island. Well, strange as it seems, this isn't the South Seas. It's in a rather bleak part of the Northern Hemisphere. Well, if you haven't already guessed, it's the Isle of Man. But then strange is an apt word for this delightful island. After a stay here, nothing will surprise you. No, you haven't got double vision. They really have got four horns. Mind you, that's only two more than usual, which is nothing out of the ordinary in these parts. Everything has some strange significance. This, for example, is one of the bridges presided over by the fairies. Talking about fairies, the island abounds in folklore and legends of the little folk. And needless to say, the inhabitants of man are highly superstitious. It's not unusual, for example, to see food and drink left outside a house for the little people. Even more common, though, is the tradition of leaving old cottages and homes for the little folk to make use of. Things are left just as they were. In places, disused cottages, relatively undamaged, can be bought for a song and renovated quite cheaply. But no one would ever think of depriving the little folk. Of course, no one in his right senses believes in fairies. The Manx cat is, of course, well known, although its origin is somewhat obscure. Veterinary experts denying the legend that they're the offshoots of cats crossed with hares, hence the short forelegs and long hind legs. Just as surprising is the Laxey Wheel, built over a hundred years ago for pumping water out of the lead mines, and run today by a local man purely as a hobby to entertain the tourists. If you want proof that fairies exist, you can go to the fairy bridge at Bologna, where, while they may not always come out in the open, they certainly make their presence felt. Local people crossing the bridge always greet the fairies with a wave of the hand. Coach drivers, for example, reflect that this is the place they get their punctures, should they happen to forget to salute. And this is the only spot on the island where we, through disrespect, had camera trouble. As we weren't able to produce any fairies, we found a self-professed witch instead, Dr. G.B. Gardner. Sweeping the crossroads near his home in Castledown, placing the dust in a shoe in which it's taken indoors, is done to simulate sweeping away continuous bad luck. These superstitions are typical. Many fishermen will still cancel a fishing trip if they see a red-haired woman or a cross-eyed man. In a tiny island 30 miles by 10 miles, there's a whole world of beauty, interest and enchantment. Thank you.